Alrighty, welcome to this final video in creating your My First Car. And in this one here, we're going to be looking at um, putting the grommets on our car as well as putting the wheels on our car so that we can get it through to testing. Now, as you can see, I've got my uh, car up on screen there. I've been using Fusion 360. It's all finished now. All the final little bits are done. I've uh, mirrored my car from the original um, half that I've been drawing and have combined it into one body, which is what we need to finish up with. Now at this point in time, what we're, we, we're needing to do is add our grommets and our wheels to the overall uh, model, I suppose is the best term I can use here. So in order to do that, you're going to need to open up your browser panel on the side here. All right, so just hovering over the show data panel link there, and there you go, there's the data panel. And you can see I'm in the project for my My First Car. Now remembering that your project should also look like this my first car dash and your name and that <coughs> I should be added to your um, particular project as a person so that's my email there you can add me to your project as a person so we'll just go back to what's in mine there so you can see there I've got my my first car as drawn in fusion here and I'm at the point point where I need to upload some new parts of the car being the grommets and the front and rear wheels to do that I'm going to use the upload button here and I'm going to select the files that I want to upload. Now in my case, if I go to my desktop, oh, I've got the three files already downloaded onto my desktop. You can do this by downloading them from Daymap um, and putting them you know, on your desktop or in your personal folder, whichever works best for you. I'm going to highlight all three of these and click the open button. And you'll see it moves them through into the upload panel here if we're sure that that's what we want to upload, which it is in this case. And I'm just going to put it into the master folder, so the main folder here for my first car, and I can click upload. And what will happen is it will go through and it will upload those three files. Now this may not be a particularly quick process, might be super fast, might take a little while, just depends on how fast your internet connection is. So we'll just wait for it to do that. Okay, so all those have uploaded now. We'll hit close on the uh, job status box here. And you can see I've got my grommet, my rear wheel, and my front wheel. Now, the first part that we're going to add into this model is the grommet. Now, the grommets are kind of like a bearing between the body of the car um, and the wheel, um, and certainly the axle. So we're going to use, by right-clicking on that grommet there, the Insert Into Current Design button. All right. And it'll take a couple of seconds. And once it gets there, you can see it's gone and dropped it way back over here. That's fine for us. We'll leave it there for now. We'll just hit OK. And what we're going to need is to start uh, jointing that grommet to the body of the car. So I'm going to hit the Join button. And I'm going to be using the NaviCube a lot in this process, switching between different views. So I've just changed my view there. I'm going to zoom in on that grommet. And I want to pick the inner circle here. So the one right on the edge there. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to zoom back out, flip my view around because I now need to pick where it needs to go on the my first car. And I'm going to pick this particular front hole here. So I'm just going to pick that edge there. And you can see there it pulls in that grommet and joints it in onto that. We can within the jointing tool here change it from um, whether we want it to be rigid or we want it to be uh, be able to move. In this case due to the fact that the grommet in our final car will be rigidly attached there. We're going to use just the rigid um, in that. So we'll hit OK and there's our first grommet in. Now that same process I'm just going to repeat for all the other grommets and what I'll probably do is just speed this section up. Now when we come to do it on the opposite side of the car we do need to make one minor change. So I'm going to select where I want it to go. You can see straight away it's in backwards. So what we need to do is just uh, use the flip along. Oops, we've got to find the correct flip here. Nope, that's not it. Nope. Let's just hit cancel there, and we'll do that again. Oops, 
Zoom on that one there. Select the spot we want to attach it to. And then select where we want it to attach. We're going to click this button here which says flip. And then it will flip it around for us and pop it in correctly. And hit OK. So just doing that for the last one as well. Okay, so that's all four grommets on the car now. And you can see what was really important about how I jointed those is that I was jointing them along just the very edge of the hole rather than upon a face of that grommet, etc. I was picking just an edge, uh, which meant that when they could strain together there, they do it quite easily. Now we've got to pop on the front and rear wheels now. So I'm just going to click on the front wheel, select insert into current design, just as we've been doing so far. Just wait a couple of seconds for it to insert. Takes a little bit longer. There we go, because it's a more complex part. So OK, we don't need to move for now. Hit the joint button. Again, just flipping it around so that I can we'll do that again. So joint. Change my view. Zoom back in on there. This time I'll pick that inner circle. It's probably more appropriate for this. I'm going to flip around back to that front wheel location. Zoom in. I'm going to select the inside of that little ring there. Now that brings the wheel in. We'll hit OK. And zoom back out. And there we go. You can see that I've got it correctly spaced out from the body of the car. So that's much better this time. Alright, so I'm going to go do that for the other front wheel as well. So there it is. Changing my view. Happy with the position of it for now. Click the joint button, select that inside circle there. All right, I will need to select flip in a moment, so I'm just going to select where it needs to go. We'll bring it in and flip, and OK. So there's the front wheels on the car. Now to do the back wheels. Click that one, hit OK, and there we go. So you can see there, I've now got all of the wheels on the My First Car with the grommets there. And if we flip around to the front there, you can see that it'll gapped away from the body of the car correctly um, and are in line with the outside edges of the car, which is what we're after. So there you go. That's how we go ahead and put the wheels and grommets on your My First Car. Thanks for watching the video.